Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Siobhan and I make videos about medical school and university. But consider hitting the subscribe button down below if you like this video and if you like the other videos that you've seen on my channel and make sure to check out my channel. Um, so basically, today's video, it's, it's just gonna be me talking to you really about something that I think is very important. As I said, my channel is about medical school and university, which is a big part of everyone's life, university. Whether you're going to medical school or whether you're studying something else. This application process is very central to that. And with the application process comes success and failure. And you have to be able to deal with it because it gets it can get a lot sometimes. There's a lot of work and sometimes you work really hard for something and it doesn't work out. And I just want to talk to you about how I think you should deal with that or I think is the best way to view the situation and just how to get through everything. How to be sane, how to not be crushed by the insane pressure and anxiety during this time because I felt it. I've been in the place that you are today watching this video. So yeah, let's just have a talk about it. I'm gonna divide this into things you can do something about and things you can't do something about. Things you can actively do something about to affect like if you're at a stage before you've even applied or before you've gotten past like before you've given your entrance exam before you have got your grades before you've done your extracurriculars if you're at that stage i mean you should be you should be worried you should be expecting success at that point and you should be going in with an optimistic mindset this whole period before you've done everything you can do you should be optimistic that yes you are going to get into wherever you want to get into you are going to do the best you can to make sure you get in and that's a realistic achievement for you and you should think like that because that's the only way you're going to get there if you you go about something believing that oh i can't do it or I don't think it's gonna happen for me. You're not gonna put in that complete effort towards it and you're not gonna be happy working towards it. You're gonna just think that, oh, I'm working towards something that's unrealistic. So definitely don't think like that. This is a time that you're meant to be optimistic. So my point is be optimistic and do the best you can. And obviously there are times where life feels harder than it should be and you fall back a little and that's natural that'll happen to everyone it happened to me but you just take it as it goes you know and none of this is actually going to make a significant difference to your quality of life later on as you will see but then moving on to things you can't do anything about i'm talking about once you've applied and uh, for example in medical school you've applied and you're waiting for your interviews or your uh, you've got interviews uh, and you've done your interviews and now you're waiting for your offer. I mean, you can't do anything about that. You can't actively do anything to get an interview. At this point, you should just think that maybe I won't get it. You should have, I don't wanna say a pessimistic mindset, but you want to look at all the outcomes and you want to make your peace with them and uh, focus less on the successful outcome and more on the neg negative outcome, I'd say, and not in a bad way. Think that because none of these negative outcomes are the end of the world if you don't get an offer, if you don't get an interview. There's always another chance. Life is so long. I mean, like, it doesn't make a difference if you apply when you're 17, 18 or 19. It is extra work, yes, but it's what you want to do when you're working towards that. So if you have to give it another shot, it's maybe not as good as getting it on the first try, but it doesn't make a significant difference in the long run. So yeah, like I was saying, just treat 
treat it as if it's, you know, not a big deal if you don't get in. So personally, I'll share my experience with you. So I had applied to uh, all four universities. And to be honest, I didn't even think about it really when it first happened. Like, I was like, oh, maybe I'll get an interview. Maybe I won't get an interview. I hope I get interviews, you know. And then I got three interviews and then I was really happy. And then I got one rejection, pre-interview rejection. And I hadn't even thought about it. So even though I was in an ideal place, the perfect place, that rejection was really disturbing. But following this, uh, when I did my interviews, my mindset completely changed. I was like, I've seen rejection now and, uh, you know, I don't want it to be a bad thing for me because I thought about it a lot. What will happen if I don't get into medical school? So following giving my three interviews, I just went with the mindset that, yeah, I'm, I might get rejected from a lot of places that I interviewed at. It's a possibility. It might happen. I should be open to it. And I should just think about how, I mean, how I would still get through it how my life won't stop moving, how that doesn't mean that I won't be able to do medicine anymore. It won't mean that I don't have to go to university anymore. And I sort of had a plan in my mind for what I'd do if I didn't get in, you know? I'd uh, focus all my attention on IB, which is the equivalent of A-levels, get great grades, retake the UCAT or whatever I had to do. And I'd do it and I'd just apply again, you know? And I have all this experience from applying the first time that um, maybe it would be a lot easier. So I just thought about all of that. And then when you have this mindset that maybe it's not gonna happen, when it does happen, when I got my first offer, I was so happy. It was like, it was much more special than if I had gone about being like super confident, like what's gonna happen for me? Like, oh, it's no big deal. I definitely think I'm gonna get it. And then I get it and I'm like, oh yeah, I got it. Versus like, maybe I'm not gonna get it. It's a possibility. And then you get it. You get that offer. You get that one line saying, this university has offered you a place for medicine and I it's just unreal. There are no words to describe that experience as most of the medical students alongside me would know. But then I got a rejection following that. And this time the rejection wasn't that bad because I had already thought about it being a possibility. And it happened and I was like, okay, that's fine. Uh, then I got another, then I got my offer from King's. And again, I had made my peace with that not happening and what I'd do if that didn't happen and I, how I'd go to my, what would have been my insurance and how that would have been great too. And it just made me feel so much better, better about getting that offer from Kings. And that's pretty much all I can say to you. That's how I went about dealing with it. The mindset I had before each thing or the mindset I had regarding each thing. And all I can say to you is, this time of your life, I mean, it is very pressurizing. The whole system is so competitive that it, it's incredibly difficult. And I mean, you will be under a lot of pressure. There's no doubt about that. But it's not the end of the world if it doesn't work out for you. And many times what you think is it not working out for you, it'll actually land you in a much better place because you may be much happier with how things turn out eventually. So all I have to say is best of luck to everyone applying this year for whatever course you're applying to, to whichever universities you're applying to. Do your best for, with your application, with everything you have to do for it but after that just remember you're not a piece of paper your grades how you perform on one day it doesn't determine what kind of an individual you are 
what will determine it is how you persevere towards your final goal and how ultimately you reach there it doesn't matter how long it takes you it doesn't matter if you have to take more than one attempt it doesn't matter where you go to work towards this final goal because you know your own achievements you know what you've done you know what you're capable of and that's the only thing that matters yeah and that's it